speaker is going to be uh, someone that has uh, been a friend to many of us. He has been the author of numerous bills related to agriculture, to farmland protection, uh, to improving our farm economy here in New York, to helping to strengthen our dairy industry. Uh, someone who has been a champion uh, in the State Assembly on Agriculture for more than a decade, uh, Bill McGee. Uh, Bill is the Chairman of the Assembly Agriculture Committee and uh, very happy that he can join us here today. So, Assemblyman McGee. Thank you, David. Thank you, David, and uh, I too am pleased to have been invited here to say a few words. Uh, agriculture, of course, is uh, on top on my agenda and has been for a number of years. I come from an agricultural district in central New York. I grew up uh, with agriculture, so uh, I know the importance of agriculture. And the uh, uh, importance, uh, you know, there's some things that uh, the governor is presently talking about, trying to connect New York farmers with uh, people in urban, New York, uh, urban areas in the city of New York, and I think that's very important. Uh, contrary to some people's comments uh, about upstate, downstate, Believe me, the downstate members of the legislature care very much about agriculture and what happens with agriculture in the state because they know it's their food. It's their, as it says, no farmers, no food, and they know it's their food. And not only that, I have found and I uh, have toured, uh, been down in New York City a few times talking about the issue of trying to get New York farm products to the New York City and uh, urban area consumers. And uh, I think that we're going to work on that and hopefully it'll happen because the fact of the matter is, is those people down in the city and the urban areas of the state want New York farm products and especially more so since 9-11. They want to know where their food is coming from. And the other thing about it is too, they're also willing to pay a premium to get those food products. And so we have uh, for years ignored that and not uh, made it happen. I tell a story several times about a few years ago, I was down at Hunts Point Market, which is the largest uh, produce market in the world, I guess, and uh, 15th of August, toured Hunts Point, stopped at every vendor, looked at what they were selling. Fresh green snap beans were from California. Now there's something wrong with that picture, I believe me. So, uh, you know, we, in the legislature as the senator has outlined and I'm pleased to have worked with her uh, to uh, obtain some funding for some very important programs in agriculture, programs that help enhance it. Uh, remembering that agriculture is the number one industry in New York and also the important thing to remember about agriculture is the agricultural farmers and community spend their money in the localities. They don't take off and go to Hawaii for six months. They stay home and take care of the farm and spend their money within the local community. So it's vitally important to the agriculture to the economy of New York State. And I keep uh, reminding my colleagues and the governor's office about the importance of agriculture to the economy of New York. And we need to do everything we can to preserve it and enhance. Uh, the agricultural industry in New York, New York's number one industry. So I hope you have a, a great day here today and uh, carry the message. It's very important. You carry the message to other legislators besides myself, who is chair of the Ag Committee. And believe me, uh, those legislators, regardless of where they are in New York, do sincerely care about agriculture and realize that it's a true statement, no farmers, no food. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much, Assemblyman. And uh, I will say that at a time of uh, very, very difficult uh, state budget circumstances that our chairs of our agriculture committee and our state legislature and our governor have worked really hard uh, to sustain dedicated funding for a number of agricultural programs that are part of our agenda today. So, greatly appreciate uh, Senator Ritchie and Senator McGee joining us for a few minutes.